Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I want to look at installing a custom theme in the Typora Markdown Editor. So I have Typora open with an article I'm writing for my math class here. And the theme that I'm currently using is Newsprint. And you'll see it comes with a couple other themes. So we have GitHub, you can change it to that. You can do Night, you can do Pixel, and you can do Whitey. Okay, so those are a couple different themes. They're all pretty nice. I like newsprint, but um, let's say I wanted to add some more themes. Well, luckily that's pretty easy. I'm going to go over here to file. And if I go down to preferences, or I could use the keyboard shortcut, which is control comma, click on preferences, and then I want to click on appearance down here. And I want to go to this button that says get themes. I'm going to click on that. And we see we have a bunch of different themes we can install. So. Let's say I wanted to do the GitHub dark themes here. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go click download and that's gonna download. And so I'll go to my downloads folder here. And what I wanna do is extract all, so I'll extract it. Uh, so I've got this, I'm gonna click on this and I've actually got a folder inside of this. So I'm going to now copy this folder and I'm gonna go back to Typora and I'm gonna click on this button that says open theme folder. And from here, I will paste that in. So that's the first step. I also wanna go into here and I have three different themes here. Um, and you'll see that I have WebStorm is associated with them. These are uh, files that WebStorm could open. But anyways, you might not see this if you don't have WebStorm on your computer. Um, it doesn't really matter. You'll see a different icon. You're going to take these three themes here, this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to copy these, go back to my themes, so go up one folder, and then paste them in. Okay, so I'll close this out. I will then close out Typora. Close everything out here. Minimize that. Let's reopen Typora. Okay, and so now when I go to themes, I have all of these three themes here. Okay. Um, so if I want to open a folder and just show you how it might look, let's open a file here. Uh, let's go to themes. And if I want to do say GitHub dark, dim dark dimmed rather, uh, I can do that. And that's the GitHub theme, which is pretty cool. Um, and I can switch about, I've got dark default now and dark high contrast. Okay. Um, so I can switch around my themes a bunch. Now let's say I go through and I install some themes and I don't want the themes anymore. I want to get rid of them. So what I can do is I can go to file, preferences, appearance, open theme folder. Let's say I want to get rid of the GitHub theme. I'm going to delete this folder, put that in the trash. And then these three themes here that I previously installed, I'm just going to highlight those, put those in the trash. Okay, I'll close this out and I'll restart Typora and you'll see it restarts in a different theme. But now you notice that I don't have the uh, GitHub dark. So let's say I want to choose newsprint. There we go. Now I can open my folder and I'm back to the five themes that I had. Now, if we, let's do control comma here again, just through here, control comma. If you go here to the get themes, you will notice that some of these, let's, let's find one. So this tailwind theme here, if I go to download, it's gonna bring me to a GitHub page. All you need to do with that is just download the source code. Okay, and then if I go to my downloads folder here, uh, I've got this source code downloaded. I can click on that, extract all, and go about the same process. So sometimes you will be directed to GitHub and sometimes it will download directly. Uh, there are also notes on each of the themes. I'm using Windows. Some themes have only been tested on Mac. Some themes have only been tested on Windows, but they should work on all. Again, that's up to you if you wanna try those themes. Uh, but yeah, so you can go through and install a bunch of themes. And if we take a look here, yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different themes you can install. And the cool thing is when you export to HTML, it will export, if you keep the styles, it will export with your theme styles. So if you want to use it to build up a web page, you could potentially do that, or a website, you could do that. Hopefully you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please 
like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.